Welcome back. Environment Minister Jairam Ramesh has said that there are more of illegal star hotels and shacks than traditional structures of fishermen in Goa violating Siazad regulations. He said that there are total 8,000 illegal structures in Goa and the Goa government has been told to demolish them. However, Environment Minister Alex Sequeira has contested the figure. I don't have the exact figures with me here, but I know for sure that structures identified are far, far less than what has been purported to have been said by the Honorable Union Minister uh, of State for Environment, Mr. Jairam Ramesh. But the, the Goa bench of the Bombay High Court has directed the village panchayats to identify the structures that have come up between come up after February 1991. Environment Minister Jairam Ramesh has revealed that there are 8,000 illegal structures in Goa as per satellite imagery pictures. He informed media that he has already asked Goa government to demolish the same. His main contention is about illegal star hotels and sheikhs than traditional structures of fishermen. Jairam Ramesh says there are 8,000 illegal structures in Goa. We carried out a satellite imagery of Goa. We have told Goa government that they must be demolished. The Goa government has been telling us that there are traditional structures. I told them I can understand fishermen. But I cannot understand five-star hotels. I cannot understand vacation beach complexes. If there are fishermen and traditional communities, let's think of ways of resolving the issue. The Environment Minister was speaking in reference to other scam in Maharashtra wherein 31-storey apartment block is being constructed in posh area of South Mumbai which were actually allotted to Kargil heroes and war widows. They were allegedly given to bureaucrats, relatives of politicians and former army and navy chiefs among others. Bureau report Prudent Media PWD Minister Churchill Alimao has said that land acquisition for NH expansion work will commence very soon. He has informed that they will impose Section 3D so that there is no further delay in the work. He also said that the expansion of NH is very vital for the better infrastructure in Goa. NHAI has given a deadline to Goa till 30th November to submit the NH plan with all the details on NH widening. PWD Minister Churchill Alimao has said that they will have to impose Section 3D to commence land acquisition for the NH widening. No, no, I don't think it's going to start. I mean, I mean, I don't think it's going to start. I mean, I don't think it's Churchill further mentioned that people will have to sacrifice their houses for the betterment of Goa and that NH expansion is very important for Goans. I mean, the highway is going to go to the highway. I mean, the highway is going to go to the highway. करना जा पाच ना थोड़ी गौर मोड़ पावे इतनी थोड़े जना सोचते पड़ता ले जोर तोर 670 गौर इतना दिगा 100 आने तोर 70 100 आने 50 60 पर गौर आवे इतना अंतिम जगह बिस्तर नहीं गौरा ओल्डी कंक्रीट आज गौरा होगा तो 22 तो ना ए जीर सोगले लोग आर मानन के बाग जाए अन्य मगर इस आसोगले I mean, I got you now. Kriyak, job, job project, Zapak Zai, and Anik Zatolo. He said that if Goans are against the NH widening project, then they are free to express it. He said that the expansion project of NH will not move forward without the consent of people. Lokak Zai, Tessin Atle. Pun Angin Mana Shembol Loga, the Shembol Loga Salako, but then I'm Yano. Kiss Atle Zamboya. ना शेमोर लोग आया था शेमोर लोग आया कॉर्डर था शेमोरी तिल्ली तो वही शी तो साला कोर बाद लें सुकली किस कोर आता आखिर वही लगा सांगडी नहीं नहीं इतना कहाँ नहीं नहीं फोर ना कहाँ नहीं नहीं जब नहीं ना कुछ आया ना प्रॉब्लम मार्किट जाम जा रही कितने मार्किट आये जब मैं करा कोर बादो कितने मार्किट � वो ना प्रॉफिट आ प्रॉफिट आ माँग कर भी मनुष्य उतना मार्किट जाए गोया बाबा किन्हें बर जाता बर जा पाते चलो का रिश्ता कर बजे आर पोटो इन पंजी देवीदास कामले विद वीडियो जोन है दिस ओमकार फलारी गोआ इस द फर्स्ट स्टेट इन इंडिया टू हैव ऑफिशियल गवर्नमेंट नोटिफिकेशन टू बी पब्लिश्ड इन ब्रेल स्क्रिप्ट 
Printing and Stationery Minister Alex Sequeira inaugurated Braille Ambassador and TCP technology which can print normal official gadgets. Furthermore, this facility will be extended to visually impaired citizens. Printing and Stationery Minister Alexio Sequeira on Thursday inaugurated a Braille Ambassador. This is for the first time in India such kind of a machine has been set up. This Braille Ambassador can print normal office gadget in this script. Goa Printing and Stationery Department has necessary machine and software to bring out the script. Alexio Sequeira said that the Braille notification will be made available to all the visually impaired people free of cost. We have decided that we will not charge, we will provide free of cost of Braille copies vis-a-vis -vis copies of notifications and orders. They will be provided free of cost. Of course, that is the condition. The person requesting should submit to us a copy of his disability service. Member of National Association for Blinds, Vincent Montero, said that now they would get to know the functioning of the government in a much better way. Honorable Minister, free of cost we have to do. And the institution is the cheapest state. ते हम एकदम हम का चोर फायदा जाते ले कितनी लिटरेचर हाँ कितने गैजेट्स हाँ तो सोच ले हम का ब्रेलान में होते ले आने हम का गोमते ले गोइंग जो सरकार ने कौशल कौशल कितने कितने कौशले रेटिंग कितने आशा पे इतने आने हम का इंडिविजुअल कितने जाए गोर्जे गोर्जे चंते हैं ते हम का ये ब्रेल इतने में होते ले � a reporter in Panji Laukik Shilkar with video journalist Ravindra Dalvi. Shri Mahalsa Narayani Sanstan in Mardol is completing 450 years. The Devastan committee will be celebrating the grand years of service to the society. The celebration will commence from 7th November and will go on till 19th December. The 43 day long celebration will have various religious and cultural activities. Shri Mahalsa Narayani Temple in Mardol is a historic temple. It is completing glorious 450 years. The celebration which would go on for 43 days will include religious and cultural activities. His Holiness Shri Madhvidhyadi Raj Tirthi Shripad Vadeer Swami will arrive on 7th December. The religious rituals will be conducted by almost 186 Vedics under the guidance of Swamiji. On the concluding day, Mahapurnahuti, Sabha Karyakram, Vijay Ratotsav and other religious celebrations will be held. The managing committee of the temple has made all the arrangements to organize the event in a smooth way. Our reporter in Madgaon, Samir Bhatt. It's time for yet another short break. We'll be right back. 